we have to protect the middle chance so hard they will not push them no matter the case they will not do them in the end we are going to manage a free gen on the left or the right side when they uh, will push the middle chance we are going like nuts and uh, we are going to hard slug bleed them out tunnel doesn't really matter the strat but they are not pushing the middle chance because if they do that and push the middle chance the map will be split up into parts having no map mobility on letter phase i cannot really traverse the map at the same time i had uh, to avoid kicking because of the gen kicking limitation If they are smart, they will push up the middle gens to the extreme. I'm no longer chasing you because I'm wasting too much time. Yeah, you see they are pushing in the middle. I think they know. She's going to hold W across the entire map if you have balanced landing light or um, any other problematic exhaustion perk just to waste my time I will not uh, follow you anymore keep uh, doing the gens because you are going to end up in a free gen okay This is the build, my friends. That is the definition of game style. But it's really good at that. Bye. And let me tell you why. Why not? Why not chase? Because the middle chains are way more important. That's what I mean. Look at the chains getting popped. Holy moly. You see? Again, everything is fully calculated. Holy Jesus Christ. Man. Stop. What the fuck? That's why I did not hook the person. If any of you were like, why are you slugging? That's why I slug, my friends. That's why I slug, man. <laughs> Do you understand why I slug now? <laughs> I have a good reason. <laughs> they are aggressive survivors and I have to be even more. Oh, mama. Remember, they are pushing the middle gen because they know about uh, map traversal on red face. And if they split up the map into parts, it's a loss. You cannot win.
This is going to work. And hook. And hook. Oh, she's holding W without playing the loop. Nice. But um, they are falling apart. You guys can tell that I'm not popping the gens at all, even though I have erupt uh, pop goes the weasel. With the main intention, if I have one gen left on the map, to play by the strat thing rules. We form the free gen and just by the end game, if a gen is more than 60% done. Because if I'm getting the spikes, it's game over. They have a free win. I won't be able to protect. Hook up. I'm not going to follow you. I have a um, plan to win. And that is not by going randomly after survivors. You either come to me. And I know you are a good down. Or I'm just not coming to you. Again, I'm going full strategy mode. So come. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. And now I force the free genning. See, that's what I mean. One, two, and three. Two genies in the middle couldn't be pushed. Forming a free gen on whatever side, left or right. Because they have one gen left. And it's also very close. What I like now, I have um, the gens that can be kicked. Without the spikes, I have the update on gen tapping. They have to do the gen quite a lot in order to no longer regress after the first uh, kick. So, um... Hook up. Why do I think you have a death heart? more you see that one generator it's being done
Unless you have an unbreakable, you're dead. Yeah, that's good. It's um, it's good. It's really good. Just play by the strat rules. And um, yeah, play by the rules. You have to really go... By the rules. You have to go by the rules. By the build rules. Jesus, man. Did you well play them? 